Hi everyone. I don't know if you're like me, but I always end up with overripe bananas and I don't know what to do with them. And banana bread is a hassle sometimes and sometimes you don't want that anyway. So I found a few recipes for things to do with banana that aren't banana bread. I am going to make today frozen chocolate banana treats. And we're gonna use two of these overripe bananas. And then we are going to use a third of a cup of oat milk. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of maple syrup, two cups of rolled oats, third of a cup of chocolate, and then two teaspoons of vanilla. We'll probably just eyeball that. Basically, you just combine everything together and it makes kind of a doughy consistency. You roll it up and then you roll it in cereal and stick it in the freezer and let it freeze. The original recipe calls for grape nuts. I do not have any grape nuts and I was not going to go buy grape nuts. All of this other stuff I already had in my house. So instead of grape nuts, we're going to use Rice Krispies on part of them and um, crushed up Cocoa Puffs on the other half. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is just puree up our banana. The original recipe said to just mash it, but I just think it's so much easier to put the banana in my little ninja and puree it up. I am gonna use all three of these bananas only because I just feel like I want it to be more banana-y. Let's put all of the wet ingredients in first, and then we'll add the dry ingredients. So a third of a cup of oat milk, which is not very much, there. And a quarter cup of maple syrup. Looks good. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Sure, that looks good. Let's mix that up. Time to add in the third cup of cocoa. I'm gonna do a heaping cup because I did an extra banana. This recipe came from Forks Over Knives, which I believe is like a vegan recipe site and I think they have a cookbook and I like to have a few vegan recipes in my <laughs> in my group of recipes that I like to do. It's good to have some vegan stuff mixed in. I have lots of vegan friends so I like to be able to do some treats for them sometimes. Now that we've got the chocolate mostly or the cocoa mostly mixed in we'll do our two cups of rolled oats and that ought to this is kind of a runny consistency but once we add the oats that'll make it a little more you know it'll have a little bit more grip to it so it'll be easier to form the dough balls out of it so there's one maybe we should incorporate that one first i want to add number two I'm going off script because <laughs> I already realized something that you should have added, which is I think you should add a pinch of salt. Once you've got it mixed up, you should have kind of a doughy consistency. We're going to rest this. We're going to cover it and rest it in the fridge for half an hour just to give it a little time to sort of coalesce and then we're going to form our balls <laughs> then we're going to form our balls we'll roll them in the cereal and we'll stick them in the freezer i have let my dough I don't know, chocolate banana mix rest in the refrigerator oh it smells amazing okay so the next thing we need we have my little our little scooper that's going to help us form the little balls we have our Cocoa Puffs crushed up and we have our Rice Krispies here. We have a cookie sheet with some parchment on it 
So basically what we're going to do is make the ball, roll it in whatever cereal, put them, line them up on our cookie sheet. And then we're going to stick the cookie sheet in the freezer for like two hours. You want to get them frozen. And then once they're totally frozen, then you can, you know, take them out and put them in a Ziploc bag and uh, store them that way. But first you have to freeze them on a tray. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to scoop out that much, like the size of a cookie. Ooh, this is going to get messy. And then we're going to roll that in our cereal and then stick it on our parchment. Number one done. Okay, so that recipe made 20, 20 of these. <laughs> ah, so this is going in the freezer for a couple of hours and then we will try them and see if they taste delicious. Fingers crossed. And here's what they look like, all frozen. I do understand why they used grape nuts. I think that the Rice Krispies and the Cocoa Puffs didn't quite hold up to the moisture that's in them. Let's see how they taste. <laughs> They're pretty good. I would say they taste very like a healthy sweet. They taste like a healthy sweet. They are good though. They're just, you know, healthy tasting. Let's try the one with the cocoa puffs on it. Hmm. Actually, the cocoa puffs held up pretty well. I definitely think I would up the cocoa content and decrease the oats a little bit. Maybe try something other than oats. They're not bad and I can see how if you're in a rush in the morning, that would be a great little sort of treat as you're running out the door to have a couple of these you know, if you couldn't get a whole, like, good breakfast in, that would be good. Will I make these again? I think I'll be looking for another uh, banana recipe. But they're pretty good. I am going to eat all of them. Happy cooking, everybody.